In this tutorial, you will learn the basics of particle effects to create special effects for your projects. To get to particles, just go to Set, and then underneath Set, just find the button for Particle, and click on that. Notice on your Content Manager for your templates, there are many, many different types of particle effects that exist on your iPhone 4. For instance, we also have atmospheres, we have environments like fogs, blizzards, we have fire and smoke, we have miscellaneous, we have other smokes such as robot bombs, we have text, we have tunnels, we also have water effects like waterfalls, and then water ripples and bubbles and splashes. Well, for this tutorial, I'm just going to stick to the basic particles, and in fact, basic 01. So let's go ahead and drag and drop that into our scene. But notice after I add it to my scene, there's nothing there. But if you look on the scene manager under particle, you can find that there's a basic 01 particle effect. To better keep track of our particle, we can turn on the doodad by clicking on this box here. Now you can see there's a doodad for our particle effect. But if I press play, you can see the particle will emit from our doodad. But if I go back to the scene manager and deselect the box, you can still see the particle will emit from here. It's just the doodad helps us to keep visual track of where our particle is. And just like with the other props, you can press Ctrl Q, turn on the gizmo, and transform your particle into position. And under the Modify tab, you can even link it to another object. So we can just pick a parent and link it to the box, then we can click on the box and move the box around, and you'll notice that the doodad for our particle will move with the box. Alright, so let's click back on our particle, and let's look down at the particle settings. Under particle settings, there are many, many tools that you will learn about in other tutorials, but in this one I want to show you about particle orientation. Notice that whenever I press play, the particle is facing towards the camera, but if I move the camera in this direction, you'll notice that the particle is still looking at the camera, and even if I move the camera up above, you'll see that the particle is still looking at the camera. That is because the particle orientation is face cam. But if I stop this, and then change it to vertical, then we press play, you'll notice that the particle is moving up and down, but if I move the camera to above the particle, you'll notice that it is still vertical and that the angle has changed. But if we stop this, then we go back to this angle, change it to horizontal and press play, you'll notice now that the particle is facing horizontal to the, to the terrain. So when I look from above, you can see the particle is looking at the camera, but when I look from the side, you can only see a side angle of that particle effect. All right, let's change it back to face cam. Now let's take a look at color. Notice that there is a particle key here, and if you click on it, you'll notice that the opacity changes all the way across. If you wish to change the color, you have to change it for all four of them. So let's go ahead and change it to red for the first key, then for the second key, we'll change it to red. For the third key, we'll also change it to red. And for the last key, we'll also change it to the color of red. Now when we press play, you'll notice that our effect is now all red. You'll learn more about opacity and rotate angles in different tutorials. One last thing I want to show you in this tutorial though, is emitter settings. If you notice here, you have emitter settings, and you see on the time scrub that it's set at zero. Currently, the emitter is on. If we turn it off and press play, you'll notice that our particle effect doesn't play. But let's say at this moment here on the time scrub, we wish to turn it on, which is click on here. Then, if we play back, you'll notice it's not on, but as it reaches this point on the timeline, you'll notice that the particle effect will turn on. Let's say from at this moment, we wish that the particle will turn off, so we go back to our emitter settings and turn it off. So that means once it reaches back to this point, it will turn off and replay. So again, it's off, and at this moment it will turn on, and then at this point, it should turn off. And that's how we can control the on and off switch for our particle effects. And that is the absolute basics for particles but please stay tuned and see the other tutorials to learn how to modify and customize your particle effects to get any kind of special effect for your projects.